Hey guys, it's Steph, and today I am finally trying at Chick-fil-A's breakfast for the very first time. So, I'm just now pulling in. They stopped selling breakfast in 10 minutes. I hope I'm not pushing it because there is a line. Um, I set an alarm today. Setting alarm to eat breakfast. Isn't that like a little bit funny? <laughs> I set an alarm. So sorry I'm still like waking up. I set an alarm at nine o'clock. And then I was like, shoot, I'm too tired. I went to bed at like two or something. And then I kept snoozing it and snoozing it. And then I finally got up at like 9.30ish and I curled my hair and I put on a thin coat of mascara. But other than that, I just woke up. And I put on this cute shirt I got at Hollister. Oh, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> Throwing my stuff in my cup holder. So I was on the website and I screenshotted a bunch of stuff that looked good which is like a lot of stuff. Um, don't mind these pictures of my face zoomed in. I was like, what are all these like dots on my face? Like yeah, freckles, but I'm like, is it from like tanning? I need to like not do that anymore, seriously. Um, but I got like a whole bunch of stuff saved. Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit minis, I think looks better than the big biscuit, but I feel like I should just get it all and taste test it. Even though like, I'm not even like, that hungry right now because I usually don't eat this early like usually I eat around like 12 or even later um, but the hash brown scramble bowl looks good but also that's like the same thing as what's on a sandwich so I feel like that's maybe for someone who's like healthier who's not like wanting the biscuit or something so we're not gonna get that Greek yogurt parfait sounds really good too but do you guys want to see me eat that that might be kind of lame as well so that's like something I feel like I would typically get though maybe but okay hash brown scrambled burrito we're definitely getting the burrito and we'll get the chicken cheese bagel I'm gonna ask her what she thinks is the best because I've never had anything from here before and then I'm gonna get iced coffee too I've heard they have like a frozen iced coffee but on the website there was only just like regular iced coffee which I don't know if it's like new or what Yeah. Good morning. Um, so I've never had the breakfast here before. Do you recommend anything? Uh, I like the uh, Chick-fil-A biscuit and the minis. Okay, I'll do both of those. I have those saved anyways. Okay, so the Chick-fil-A biscuit and the four count mini? Yeah, and okay. then can I do an order of the hash browns? Mm -hmm. And then hash brown burrito. Okay, are we doing the chicken or the sausage? Um, in the burrito? Yeah. Um, I'll do the chicken. Okay. And then I'll do the sausage, egg, and cheese muffin. Mm -hmm. And then the chicken, egg, and cheese bagel. That's a good one, too. Yeah, it looks it's good. It's just huge. And then, um, can I do an iced coffee? Of course. Are we doing the vanilla or the uh, original? I'll do vanilla. Okay. And then throw in some sauces for me, too, please. Just a variety? Yeah, just anything. Okay, so let's walk and talk while I keep down. Walk and talk. Alright, and may I have a name? Steph. And do we need a receipt? Yes, please. Okay, so we have the Chick-fil-A biscuit, a four count mini, half brown chicken burrito, sausage egg and cheese muffin, a chicken egg and cheese bagel, a vanilla iced coffee, and your sausage. Sounds good. 2237. I do have an order on your thing for a large bottle of lemonade. She said she just came through and got a regular lemonade instead. She has there a receipt. There you go. Let's thank see you. who you're following. Okay. And then I have you following that silver band right beside you. All right. Have thank you. Day. You too. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Look at this. We got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Oh, I'm so excited. But whoa. This feels so good. So I use this every single day, literally every single day. It does, it really makes a difference. I had this thing for like over a year. My mom got me this a long time ago and then I never really used it. And then I saw on TikTok, everyone was using them and they were showing like before and after pictures. So basically, if you don't know, it like pushes the fluids out of your face. So you're supposed to go like out, so you're pushing all the toxins in your hair. 
<laughs> and then like you go like your neck too and it like literally makes your face like skinnier and I keep mine in the refrigerator so that it's nice and cold so when like you feel puffy in the morning it like just feels so good at first it's like so cold like it like hurts but then it feels really good and then I also got this other one I showed it in my nighttime routine video it's called like a gusha or something like that it's like a stone and you just like push it on your jawline that one I really enjoyed I only got to use that a few days because my dad it was on the counter sitting and he picks it up and he's like, what is this? And then like throws it on the counter and broke it. But he ordered me another one on Amazon so I'm excited for that to come back. But yeah, I brought this with me because I was like, I literally just woke up and left. So it makes me like feel better when I do it. I'll link it down below. You can get it on Amazon for so cheap or like Target and stuff too. But I got one on Amazon because it's easier. It's such a cloudy, rainy day. Yesterday was 70 and sunny. What's it supposed to be today? And I have good news for all of you people. I will be going to LA soon to film. So, therefore, back in my game. Have not been there in over a year because of everything that's happened. But can go there now and film and I have literally like seven restaurants written down in my phone and so get ready for a whole bunch of mucky mucks at fun good places like in and out Korean fried cheese I'm gonna try Jolly Bee for the first time Jack in the Box Jack in the Box I've had that but it's been a couple years so we'll do that too and then what else did I write down? I think Zaxby's, was that in LA? Um, there was another one, like Jack in the Box, hard. Let me see, I wrote it down. Um, Carl's Jr. Never had that, but I'm so excited to try like the little star nuggets. So, I just listed a ton of places. You guys let me know if there's any others you want me to try. I know there's like this Burrito Bomba place too with like flaming hot Cheetos in the burritos or something that I kind of want to try. But yeah, let me know if there's any other place I should go to and uh, if there's any specific items I should get and then check the comments and like the comments that you agree with. So then like they go to the top. But yeah, so excited, so excited. I'm not in and out in forever and uh, yeah. I, I like going there like at least every year so I can film a whole bunch and everything so I'm really excited really excited and then I also had you guys ask me some questions on my Instagram at Steph Pappas if you guys are not following me already I have you guys ask me questions all the time but I'm gonna be answering some of that today I haven't looked at any other questions Should we read today's quote? Okay guys, today's the last day of March. I'm uploading this the same day I'm filming it. Um, I had a couple other videos that are done and ready to go as well. But I feel like I wanted to get this one up because I've been saying on my Instagram that I needed to try Chick-fil-A breakfast. So I was like, I just need to wake up one of these days early and just go pig out. And today is the day. So, um, Today's quote is, be happy and appreciate where you are in your life right now. All seasons are there for us to teach us valuable lessons that we are here to learn. Mm, the best, okay. The best thing you can do is to just focus on this moment, stay present, let things unfold naturally when they are meant to be. Trust the divining timing of your life. All is well. I'm gonna like it to confirm it and yeah I like that so just live in the moment love life and live in the moment live life and live in the moment live in the moment exactly what I thought hi hi yeah Thank you. Any sauces for you? 
Yeah, can I just get like a little bit of everything? Is my receipt in there also? Yes, it is. Okay, thank you so much. Mmm, that smells really good. It smells like chicken. Chicken is definitely one of the best things ever. I miss Popeyes. I need to go there soon. Okay, dude, that was like totally my right away. And you're lucky I stopped. Some people don't know how to drive. Dangerous drivers. Really, really. And now I'm gonna go park right next to him. <laughs> go a couple down mm, that smells good it smell like honey chicken or something and now he's pulling out again to leave is he gonna come park by me I don't know what he's doing okay oh shoot I need to get my my table from my trunk I need to go out in the rain I will be back Oh, I'm in pajama pants. Oh, this is quite embarrassing. Okay, excuse me, who took my tray out of my vehicle? Er, someone did, because I know I didn't. <sighs> well, I don't have my food table. <laughs> I am so sorry, you guys. But unless I drive all the way home, but I'm like 20 minutes away and then the food won't be as fresh. It's okay. I'm sure we'll do another one of these videos another time. And I'll show you guys everything up close when I try each item. Okay, let's just open this up. Wow, this is a good little burrito. Good thickum. Chicken, egg, and cheese bagel. Okay. What can I use as a tray? I'm like mounted on my table. You know what? I do have an in and out tray in my trunk. Let me get that real quick. Cause I could probably just put everything on the tray and like hold it up a little bit. Going back outside. Well, don't have the in and out tray either. My dad cleaned my car for me. Very nice of him but must have also removed some things. <laughs> I have this one though. So, okay. Maybe, maybe this would work. Okay, so we have a burrito. Let's check out the sausage, egg and cheese, English muffin, which English muffins are like my favorite. At McDonald's. Ooh, this looks so cheesy and good. Check this out. Wow. Mmm, that looks really good. So this is the chicken egg and cheese bagel. Mmm, this stuff's really cheesy. They're doing the good cheese. Okay, let's see what we got next. It's like opening a present on Christmas. Okay, here's a cute little chicken biscuit. Cute little mini one. That's probably like 800 calories. <laughs> okay, there's a little chicken nibbler mmm that's really good and then our chicken minis I think are in this box oh they're like really mini if so oh that is so cute oh my goodness it's so mini I was not expecting them to be this small now that is freaking adorable that is so stinking cute And then lastly, we have another little container of hash browns. Uh, hmm, those look really good. They kind of look like Burger Kings, but better. Okay guys, so here is my table of food. <laughs> I'm gonna just kind of like set this on my steering wheel and then maybe change the camera angle. So I know this is kind of like a weird angle, but you can like kind of see the food like this. So this will this will work. Um, let's see the sauces they gave me. Looks like honey mustard, Chick-fil-A sauce, and a jalapeno salsa. 
Oh, I am barbecue. Mm -mm. I should ask for ketchup. Oh well. We can use Chick-fil-A sauce. And I also brought sriracha with me from home. So yeah, I got acrylics back on and now I can't open anything. Oh, there we go. <sighs> Almost so hard. My acrylics honestly look horrible too. I went to just some random place and they're really thick and uneven, but I mean, what, I didn't really care that much. Okay, let's try this chicken mini. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, wow. Mmm. These are good. I love the little buns they're on. Mmm. They're so cute. So it's just like the little Chick-fil-A nugget on like a bun, like a really buttery mini bun. Chick-fil-A sauce is good. I used to not really like it. Let's see what you guys have asked me. This person said, would you ever go vegan? Mm, no. Anything vegetarian, but I don't think I could do vegan. Um, especially with doing YouTube, that would be really, really hard. Except lots of fast food places have vegan options now, but I've tried lots of them and I don't really like lots of them either. Mmm, this tastes like chocolate milk. Very sweet, very sweet, but very good. Let's try hash brown. I want to try the salsa. I'm guessing this goes with the burrito. Sriracha is my favorite with eggs. Is there cheese in this thing? It doesn't look like it. Hmm. Mm, I love how I just always bring a huge bottle of sauce. A long time ago, when I went on a date, I brought, he came to pick me up and I brought a huge thing of honey mustard, like a big salad dressing container. <laughs> we were going to a drive-thru and I wanted honey mustard. And I don't think the place had honey mustard. So, it's funny. All time fave takeout meal from any place. Steak hibachi with yum yum sauce. Honestly, the best thing, cause like lo mein noodles, and fried rice and everything when it comes like it comes like still so warm and if you do microwave it it still tastes so good fast food is not very good as like taking it home same with like burgers and fries from restaurants so definitely hibachi like japanese food or even like chinese food too mm.
Okay. So, as you guys know, that item is my favorite item from McDonald's, a sausage McMuffin. I do like McDonald's better. This one is really good though, but I do like McDonald's better. Wow. McDonald's, I feel like, will always have kind of like the OG breakfast. But McDonald's, I feel like... Mm. So far, my favorite are those chicken minis. And the hash browns. Chick-fil-A sauce, I feel like, tastes really good with this breakfast. So I'm going to try this sandwich. Love the biscuit. Really good biscuit. <laughs> I'm making a mess. Mmm. Okay, maybe I like this one more than the chicken minis. So both the things she requested to me, I really like. I was reading my shirt. <laughs> I was like, wait, what does this bottom part say? Because at first I thought it just said send positive vibes. Mm. So, definitely the two chicken items are the best because Chick-fil-A is like chicken, you know? And shoot, Chick-fil-A sauce is good. Okay, let's answer something else. How do you handle stress and anxiety? You always seem so chill. Well, stress, you kind of just gotta like, depends what you're stressed out about though. But you kind of just got to, like, I wouldn't say not care because, like, you should always care. But, like, whatever happens, happens. So it's, like, thinking and overthinking about it isn't going to change anything. So you might as well just, like, be calm and just go with the flow and whatever is meant to be or whatever happens is obviously a reason the universe is having it happen. So it's just, like, you got to always think positive thoughts. Um, and if you speak negatively, negatively out loud, your brain believes it. So you should always be speaking positive out loud and, um, anxiety. I wouldn't say I have anxiety. Um, I think that's something you're like, like the, the doctor tells you you have it, right? Um, I mean, obviously I get nervous and stuff before things and I'm like freaking out and like my heart's beating so fast and like, I like, I'm like, I don't want to do it anymore or something like that. But usually everything always goes fine. And if not, it's like no big deal. It's like whatever, you know, like I've been nervous before. Like I did like YouTubers react. I was pretty nervous and uh, you just got to like try and turn off your brain and just do it because once you get there everything always goes fine so if you're like nervous like having anxiety before like a presentation it's like everyone is always going to be nervous before something you just gotta I don't even know like I think that's just a natural human like feeling like you're a little nervous because you want to do good but once you get up there you always do good and then you're like why was I so nervous so yeah, you just gotta think about it in the end. Like, it'll be fine. I also kinda wanna add that, like the feeling of being nervous, if you think about it more as not being nervous and think of it more as like, it's butterflies cause you're excited, then like it kinda tricks your brain and it's like, I'm not nervous, I'm excited. That's like the feeling. Also, awkward. Like thinking that things are awkward it's all in your head. If you think, like, awkward really isn't a real thing. Like, it's all just in your head. Like, 
I could be sitting in complete silence and someone else could be too and they could think it's so awkward and I think nothing of it. So it's like awkward really isn't a thing. Like nothing is a thing. Nothing's real. <gasps> Mmm, this is good. Burrito needs cheese. <laughs> My friend claimed a guy she saw on Insta. They've never spoke, but I like him though. They've never spoke. <laughs> Well, that's a little weird. If she claimed him, she better slide in the DMs already because she's claiming him. <laughs> and he, that's a little weird. Um, well, honestly, that that's weird. <laughs> Just tell her, well, if you claimed him, go get him. And if not, I'm going to claim him. Say that. Do you regret something you've done? I mean, obviously, when I was younger, I was kind of not an angel child and I get detentions in school and stuff and I was kind of just like would like rebel against my parents I guess I could say I regret that but the good thing is when you change and you grow and you become a better person so it's not really regrets it's just like I'm happy I've grown and become who I am you know and just just like better you know like less judgmental um don't say mean things like that and yeah so uh yeah no no regrets really but just happy at where i am now and the growth i've had what's three things on your bucket list I need, 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 need. To see a volcano erupt. I love lava. I've never seen it in real life, but I need to see it. You guys, I said this in a different mukbang, I think my Taco Bell one, and you guys kept sending me so many DMs of like cool lava falls with like water next to it. Like that is so cool to me and I need to see one of those in real life. What else do I want to do? Mm. Mm. This bagel. Healthy. <laughs> it's like a wheat or something. I don't like that one as much. Of course the two healthier ones except tortilla is not healthy but there's no cheese in here and then this has like a whole grain bagel I don't really like the texture of like the nuts I'm weird with textures but hey I had to try almost the whole menu this is basically the whole menu besides maybe like oh this sandwich has bacon on it instead of cheese I had to get everything Chicken ones, definitely the best. I'm telling you guys that now. But this is really good. I can't believe I've never had this at like an airport or something like early in the morning. Another thing, I just really want to travel the world. This is such a bad angle. I feel like, just it looks really bad. So much out the window, you know? Um, I wanna travel the world and I would kinda would wanna skydive, but I'm like too scared because I'm kinda scared of heights, but like that would be such a cool experience. So I think I would force myself to do it. Um, but I guess I don't know if it'd be like bucket list. Uh, I want to go to Paris. I want to go to Paris. And I want to go to Mexico and Hawaii. And Jamaica. And um, Belize. 
And Greece. There's lots of places I want to go. Greece, I, I for sure want to go there. At the Taco Bell, they have like gyros, euros, tzatziki sauce on oh, the burritos at Taco Bell. What? I have to go there and try that for everyone and film it. How fun would that be? And some of my relatives are in Greece. I don't know them though, but I think I'm like friends with them on Facebook or something. <laughs> would you rather have twins right now or never have kids? Oh, get me the twins. <laughs> I for sure want kids. Um, late, late, like late twenties, because I want to travel and stuff a lot before having like animals or kids. Which I would say late twenties, like twenty-seven or something. Are you shy or outgoing when first meeting people? Um, people have told me I'm outgoing. I'm very like talkative and stuff, but I feel like I shy. I'm oh, not really shy. I think like right in the middle, but it also depends on like the vibe I'm getting from other people in the room. Like that's like. Just depends on the vibe that's like how I will react I guess but I would say I'm more outgoing I don't think I'm that shy if anything maybe I feel shy in my head like like oh I'm not talking enough or oh like this and that but it's just like I overthink a little bit did you ever want a sister? Um, yeah, I feel like a sister would be so fun to have. Um, but also, I'm fine with just having a brother. Uh, he never stole my clothes. Uh, he never used my makeup or anything. Like, I think if like a sister was doing that, I think I'd get really annoyed. But then also, you could borrow their clothes and makeup as well. So it's like, I don't know. It would definitely be fun. I wish I had a bigger family. But I'm fine with just my brother. Does your boyfriend like your boob size or your booty size? <laughs> mm, do you shave your arms? No, I do not. Um, never. Uh, I have thought about it, but I don't want them to be like prickly. Because I do have like a decent amount of arm hair so in third grade or maybe second grade this guy named Cole he uh, literally like roasted me for my arm hair he was sitting next to me he was like whoa you have so much arm hair and then like was like, you have arm hair like a boy. And I, rem I remember I was like so offended and so embarrassed about it. Like the rest of the time I sat next to him until like our seats got changed, I wore like long sleeves to class because I was like embarrassed. And then I started shaving my legs like recently after that too because I was like, I'm so hairy. But like, isn't that crazy how you can remember something like someone says to that young? Like that like stuck with me. But I know I have hairy arms. <laughs> Do you ever struggle struggle with body insecurities? Um, also, you're so inspiring. I love you. I love you too, Megan Cantor. 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 Um, for sure. Um, my body's very straight down. Like, I don't really have, like, hips. Like, I love wide like hips like an hourglass figure I don't have that that's just not how my body is I probably could work out to like maybe make it look a little bit like better but I don't really like feel like it <laughs> but um yeah I wish I was taller too because like if I gain like five pounds like it's so noticeable because I'm like five two so then like 
that i wish i was taller so yeah i feel like everyone definitely has body insecurities even it look even if someone has like a perfect body in your eyes they could still be insecure someone that's skinny could be super insecure about it um someone who's even really fit could be insecure about still how they look so it's like I see TikToks of like people that are like like saying they're insecure and then all the comments are like hating on them like why would you be insecure or skinny and like and then like going off it's like that doesn't really have anything to do with it if you're insecure about something you're insecure like I watched this interview with Megan Fox and like you know everyone's like she's so gorgeous well she is she's beautiful and um, she said in, like in her interview that she grew up and no one was like never no one ever told her she was good looking so she always thought like she wasn't and then now like being known as like one of like the most beautiful women or something like that she like just doesn't believe it and doesn't feel like it so it's like what you look like and stuff doesn't really matter if you're insecure you're insecure which everyone is insecure about something okay you guys That is me trying Chick-fil-A as a breakfast for the first time. I'm very full. And it's only 11 o'clock. Okay, so we're gonna do our rating for everything now. Hash browns, amazing, gonna eat another. Very good. This sandwich was good, but also not my favorite out of everything. Um, I do like McDonald's better and Dunkin's better too, I think. Their muffins are like softer. This one is more like hard. Um, this sandwich didn't really like the bagel It's not bad, but if I'm like rating things from like my favorite to least favorite um, This is what this one looks like. Yeah, it's just it tastes healthy. I mean, I don't like things if they taste like that healthy <laughs> But I'm definitely bringing These home and my mom is at home and she can have one the wrap just a little bit plain Which it actually does look like there is cheese in here, but just not a lot and it just is a little bit dry chicken minis I almost say all of them besides this one I'm gonna have my mom try one these are amazing oh my goodness amazing and then the chicken biscuit sandwich amazing as well it looks like I have like a lot of food left over but I will be bringing it home and sharing it but I am full you guys <laughs> like usually don't eat this much and I'm already probably like a thousand calories in and it's not even like noon <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so excited I got to try Chick-fil-A breakfast finally. I can finally say I said it. Oh, and the coffee, very good. I will be finishing this while I edit this video. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, click my notification bell, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.